Still time though, cover the spare. He still has room to get into the 220s. Well, Chris, what adjustments have you made since that kind of rough start for you? Well, I had to move one right on the right lane. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit wet dry, and uh, so was the left lane. So I'm, uh, I'm rolling it more up the back of it. I move closer to the friction on both lanes, and uh, we've got to figure out a way to strike. Are you still in this one? Absolutely. Chris joining us via PBA inside angle. Here's Kulik, bottom of the sixth, after an open frame in the fifth. She's feeling it. She's feeling it. Again, fearless. Doesn't matter who she's going up against. She's mowed the guys all week long. What a beautiful shot right here. Her biggest advantage right now, her ball speed. How so? It's reading the oil pattern perfectly. Yeah, but... A Let's see where they're playing on the lanes. The rev rate higher for Chris Barnes, but slower ball speed equals about the same amount of hook for Kelly Kulik. We begin the seventh. And there's a pair for Kulik. She lost the momentum, and now she's seizing it right back. That puts Kelly Kulik back in the 220s. Chris Barnes, Max score 226 he would have to go off the sheet 7th 8th 9th and 10th he can do it strike number three for Barnes it's going to be a slow process for him but he's still alive the one thing that Kelly Kulik has not felt in this entire match ball change is pressure Chris has not put any pressure on her. She's out there freewheeling, loosey-goosey in her own world. Chris can apply a little bit of pressure with a strike here in the eighth frame, or at least give her something to think about. First four frames for Kulik, nothing but strikes. For Barnes, just one strike and an open frame. That set the tone early on. Here is Barnes as we begin the eighth, looking for his first double of the day. Comes at a great time. Not Barnes is back, people. Now let's see how Kelly responds. For the first time in this title match with everything on the line, Chris Barnes just applied a little bit of pressure. Just a little. Not dead yet. Make a good job. right around the corner one more strike in the ninth frame and any kind of good count in the tenth frame Kelly Kulik is going to win the tournament of champions she had eight strikes in her win over Mika Koivu Niemi seven already here biggest shot of her career right here right now sports in general. I haven't seen one of those before. Kelly Kulik. That one didn't matter very much, though. Is your winner. 2010 Tournament of Champions. She just did the math. 
And it's starting to set in. Kelly Kulik has become the first woman to ever win on the PBA Tour. Oprah, what are you doing this week? You need somebody to book? Let me get you Kelly's digits. I mean, true performance all week long. And then today, she left the pocket 7-10 in the fifth frame. Otherwise, she would have the front nine in a row in the title match of a major. Not just any event, a major. And you can see her right now. <laughs> Just trying to fight it. You know, the PBA has been blessed with wonderful storylines this year. Tom Smallwood, laid off by General Motors, wins this year of the first major. And now, Aww. Carol Kula can see her daughter, Kelly, in the second major of the season. The first woman to ever win on the PBA Tour. There are not going to be too many dry eyes here in a few moments. Chris Barnes is joking with All us right. yesterday, saying... You know, if anybody here can handle losing to a woman, it's me. I get beat regularly by my wife, Linda. Well, and, you know, with, with the exception of the split hey, in the Ryan fourth Troy. frame, Chris Barnes has Washington. not missed the pocket in the last six frames, and he's got one double. All right, thanks. He finishes with a 195. And now history... Steps up for the applause and the pop she has earned and deserved. Kelly has done it. Let's see if she can do it with more strikes.